Hello, APL Go Nation. My name is Julia Flynn Worry, and I'm a corporate director with this amazing company. I'm so privileged and excited to introduce you to an amazing woman tonight. She's absolutely blown my mind repeatedly as an author, as a professional in nutrition and in this space. And we're so blessed to have her with us this evening. We're going to be doing some Q&A, getting some great information on one of our products. We're going behind the science of MLS. Mary Esther Gilbert, welcome in. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you, Julia. Well, um, I've been doing this for 40 years. I've been uh, educating clients and uh, you know students and audiences and my readerships on the amazing, the body's ability to utilize the right nutrients to repair and regenerate and detoxify and uh, uh, recover itself from all kinds of ailments. So uh, I've done a lot of scientific research over the years and produced books and articles. So using these botanicals in my practice, a lot of these botanicals that are in the formulations uh, have already proven themselves a long time ago in my book. So the science matches the results. And so when I discovered the APL company, and of course, I always do due diligence on any product that I want to endorse. And uh, I was very impressed after looking at so many different uh, supplements for so long and analyzing the ingredients and uh, determining which supplements are utilizable by the human body and which ones are worth taking and which ones are worth the money. Uh, I was very impressed with the technology that is unprecedented as far as I could tell from watching the industry, the supplement industry grow over many, many decades. So um, I'd, I'd love to share what I know about the drops, what I know about our own nutritional physiology tonight. Oh, I am so excited and so looking forward to it. I know as associates and as customers and as people who are looking at these products, we're all so eager to hear what you have to say. So this is just thrilling for all of us. Let me start by asking this first question. What is the main benefit for MLS and what does MLS stand for? Okay, well, multi-level spectrum and it's got it has a great name because all of the botanicals, the many botanicals in this formulation have multiple purposes in the body. It's really a pan-systemic or complete body system supplement because the botanicals have so many uh, nutrient compounds in them, uh, phytochemical compounds that are found in plants, um, 25,000 to be, to be exact, that that science has discovered in nature and all these uh, wonderful healing properties of these phytochemicals in plants. So our own formulations have at least 1,000. And so the MLS is a pretty good one to start with if you want a just pretty good all around uh, boosting every body system kind of supplement. So they address all the body systems uh, in this particular case, the skeletal, uh, the muscular system, the nervous system, the circulatory, the respiratory, the digestive system, the endocrine or glandular system, and even the skin, the integumentary system, the lymphatic drainage and uh, detoxifying uh, system, uh, which is the other circulatory system besides the blood vessels, and the urinary system. So these are the major uh, body systems that consist, of course, of all this, the subunits within each system. But uh, the MLS does, does a pretty good job containing the phytochemical compounds that will address uh, the correct functioning of the cells in every single one of these body systems. My goodness, I had no idea that it was all of those systems. I, I don't even think I could write fast enough to write all of those down. That's so <laughs> exciting. Well, so that kind of makes my next question a little silly. Is there a specific body function or organ specific one that is impacted by MLS? But it sounds like what you're saying is so many. Is, is that right? Well, it's still a good question, Julia, because, um, you know, yeah, you can address the nourishing needs of, of the different body systems. But basically what it does is it helps the body protect itself from foreign invasive pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites, uh, you know, it will help either eliminate them or help your immune system recognize them more efficiently and help your body get rid of them sooner. So uh, they, you know, they really go to work with the immune system and cleansing the the circulatory system of all these synthetics that we accumulate from all these pollutants that are in 
the air and the water and in our foods, they're sprayed with pesticides. And even if you eat organic, there's always that pesticide drift into the organic farms. You know, so we can't really get away from all of it. We have to constantly make sure that we're doing everything right so our own immune system can eliminate these, uh, these toxins. And a lot of these phytochemicals on their own will bind molecularly to these synthetics so that your system can eliminate them through the eliminative channels. So yeah, pretty much uh, detoxification, improving the immune system is, uh, I, is what I see most in these botanicals. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, there are a lot of ingredients in MLS. It's one of the longer lists that I've noticed. What are the three main ingredients that you think are unique or that are standouts for MLS? Oh my goodness, Julia. <laughs> Well, you know, I would say the spices, okay, this one has cinnamon bark, you know, and it will help uh, get rid of the buildup of phlegm when you have viral infections and influenza, you know, it'll, uh, it's an anti-inflammatory, you know, and it's a pain reliever, and uh, it will improve the functioning of the kidneys and the, the all the organs, the, the liver, it'll cleanse the liver out, uh, it helps reduce blood lipids, you know, to prevent cardiovascular disease. It helps your body uh, uh, manage its blood sugar. So it helps the functioning of the pancreas and the production of insulin and how the, the insulin is able to take sugar out of the blood so that you don't have too much sugar in the bloodstream. So it helps in diabetes. And all this is scientifically uh, backed, How, uh, by the way, from the book that I've written. I'm sure you're familiar with the book. But um, there's some really deep science, some deep dives into the scientific literature that will support everything that I'm saying tonight and then some. Oh, wow. So I, still, I really I, I really am impressed. I didn't know about the phlegm piece or the, the pain piece. That's really different than what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I could go on and on on every single one of these botanicals. I've uncovered a lot of research for many, many years. But uh, what I love about the cinnamon is also um, it will kill all these different uh, microbes that cause some serious health issues. It'll kill even termites. It'll kill nematodes, the roundworms that are found sometimes in the intestines, larvae. It kills all sorts of different kinds of insects and it destroys all kinds of fungi and bacteria and uh, a wide range of yeast species. So this is a really, really great uh, thing to put into that formulation. So the, cinnamon, asked, so the cinnamon bark is one. Are there a couple of other standouts? Of yeah. Absolutely. You know, I can go through the list, uh, just pick out, uh, like, say, black curant. That's also very powerful. Um, it helps reduce the effects of radiation and promotes the elimination of all these toxins that we pick up, like mercury and cobalt and lead. Um, so uh, it's really difficult for the body to get rid of these, these because they're embedded in the fatty tissues. You know, and that it's not only uh, from fatty tissues that we store under the skin, it's also the uh, the fatty tissues uh, the fatty acids coat the nerve cells so the functioning of of the nervous system depends on healthy nerve cells and not being accumul not accumulating these toxins from the environment and also with how the brain functions there's fats in the brain as well that we have to maintain properly but if we are exposed to all of these toxins then of course you're going to have a degenerative uh, you know effect on how our brain and nervous system functions. So I think the the black currant is one of one of them also. I mean, I I'm really having trouble picking out which one, Julia. But um, let me just say, did you have a question about the currant? Well, I no, I was just amazed to hear about those two ingredients alone, and that does make me think. When you're mentioning that, does this have similar properties to our other product? Um, our, but we'll come to that a, a little bit later. I think we're gonna we're gonna ask a few follow up questions in a minute. Um, I, I, we're very excited to hear about those two ingredients, and you mentioned the other spices, so that makes you want to go and do a deeper dive yourself. You know, I personally want to do a deeper dive into your book, into learning more because of that. It's so exciting. Um, just out of curiosity, how soon can a person expect to feel a benefit or experience a benefit? 
Yeah, that's a great question. Some people who are reasonably healthy, they don't have any major health issues, they'll start feeling more energy, they'll, uh, their body will start eliminating all these toxins, no matter how healthy we are, we're still holding on to these toxins, we're breathing them, eating them, drinking them every single day, we're using synthetic chemicals in, in the home, hopefully not, you know, uh, might want to switch to all non toxic cleaners and, and non toxic cosmetics and things like that shampoos and body lotions, we absorb all of those chemicals and retain them in the body. Without these plant chemicals, we can't eliminate them very easily. So I would definitely, you know, focus on that. Um, you know, so it's really important to, to pay attention to what's going in the body. Yeah, I, I can't agree more. It, it, after hearing you speak for all these months, it's been amazing what I've learned from you over, over the last couple of years that I did not know. And I do have one kind of an interesting question, because when we first got started, I remember seeing a product, this product with another one, and that was HPR. Um, I saw that it was recommended to use those two products together as a gentle detox, and I wondered how they work together and if you recommend that. Yeah, so different plants, um, they have different phytochemical compounds that do different things for different systems in the body. So in the HPR, we have more botanicals that address the needs of the liver. So the liver is the organ that accumulates toxins and stores toxins as much as the, the fats in the body. So uh, you know anything that, that all the botanicals that are in that formulation are going to address uh, getting rid of these toxins in the liver and improving the functioning of the liver. So the liver, every single part of our body has DNA. And so when things get damaged or things get uh, full of toxins, then it can damage the genetic instructions, the code of DNA in every single one of our trillions of cells. So uh, fortunately, all of our cells contain all of the information to help the body function optimally in every single system. So if one system gets damaged and the other system can provide that system with uh, the information to help with the repair, repair process. So all of these plants do so many things to help all of these different functions that occur. And there are literally multiple trillions of these different uh, processes that occur every single moment that we're alive. That is amazing. I didn't know that the DNA from another cell could pick up and help repair another cell. That's incredible. That's amazing. So I guess that speaks to why we want to take such good care of all of our cells. Is that, am I understanding that? Yeah, we want to address every single body system. You know, all the systems that I outlined earlier, uh, down at the micro cell level, that's where uh, health happens. That's where disease starts. So if those cells are damaged and the instructions to help the body function optimally are, are damaged, that means the, the genetic codes can be disrupted or confused or damaged. And the body's immune system is, and, and the hormonal system and the nervous system all work together to monitor all the body systems and try to do the repair work. And this is a constant thing. But if we aren't taking good care of ourselves, we're exposing ourselves to all kinds of toxins, uh, whether we do it on, you know, knowingly or not then uh, we do need to focus on the plant kingdom. And of course, the other food groups are important too, protein for building uh, the cell structure and the cells, uh, everything, just about everything in the body is protein. So we do have to maintain our protein intake and the right fatty acids to make sure that we are generating the right hormones and the nervous system is functioning and our body temperature is being regulated. You know, all these different things, all these different uh, nutrients in every single category of nutrition are doing, are contributing toward our, our optimal health. And then, of course, the uh, carbohydrates. We don't want to take in a lot of the uh, refined sugars because that's concentrated forms of sugar really stimulate the uh, the pancreas to produce large amounts of insulin. And if you're not, uh, if your body isn't producing enough insulin, then that can be a, a, a direct road to diabetes. So we have to always maintain the the vitamins and the minerals in the whole food diet, and also take in uh, these kinds of supplements that have high uh, uh, phytochemical com com content. Like I said, there's thousands and thousands of these phytochemicals and they're some are present in some plants and some are not. Some plants have uh, the same kind of uh, phytochemical compounds. Like I said, there's thousands of them. So uh, the body knows what to do with these molecules. It's so familiar with all of these molecules. 
Um, you know, it just knows exactly what it's doing. It recognizes the molecular structures. It allows them inside the cell membrane and enter the inner universe of our cells where all the health or disease happens. So uh, there's so many different functions that occur inside the cell. And we happen to have the, uh, the inside of the cells of these plant compounds in this particular formulation, in these formulations. Uh, so, and since plant cells are so, so very similar to human cells, uh, we all, all the functions inside a plant cell do the same kind of functions in the human cell. So we can uh, actually utilize this information that our DNA recognizes the information from the DNA and other plant cell components, the energy producing factories, you know, all these different things that are going on. Uh, it's so compatible that we can borrow from the plant cells and uh, splice into our own DNA to correct uh, sequences of the genetics that, that might be disrupted. Wow. Okay. That is amazing. That is an amazing concept of all of our drops. So it, it's just incredible. You know, you have so much experience and you can literally recommend any brand, any product, anything that you want. You have access to all of those things. So what is it specifically about the APL Go drops that caught your attention. I know a lot of people look at these and they sometimes dismiss them and say, oh, these look like candy or they taste so good, so they can't possibly work all that well. But they have difficulty kind of correlating or trusting the value of the drops because they're so small or because they taste so good or they think that they're candy. What would you say to that person? Yeah, uh, you know, we all have to learn a little bit about how our bodies work, especially at the microcell level. There's a lot happening in there that we're not even aware of. All we see are the results of what we do to the body and uh, what manifests in the form of the symptoms, how, how poorly we feel or how well we feel and how prone we are or likely we are to fall into the disease process. So, you know, I, that's the first thing I tell people is that, I, you know, it, it's up to us and you guys have the book. You guys have me, you know, to answer the questions, and I'm happy to help. Because when you're explaining these drops to people, it's important to know what's in these botanicals. And that's the very reason why I wrote the book. I knew that the associates are going, were going to need this knowledge so that they could uh, present the scientific data to their customers, to their clients, to their patients. Uh, doctors aren't given very much education when it comes to to uh, learning about our own nutritional physiology and how it can actually uh, repair itself for uh, if, from just about any kind of, of ailment, you know? I've seen this over the four years. My clients' uh, health transformed instantly or ra very rapidly, almost overnight. Some people felt the effects of good nutrition overnight when their bodies were that starved for nutrition. But then uh, others, you know, it took a while because when you're in the disease process, that takes many, many years to degenerate to the point where things stop functioning properly and you start noticing all of these uh, you know, sometimes uh, life-threatening symptoms. So uh, that's the first thing you want to do is tell people to nourish their bodies properly, uh, you know, to uh, learn about their different body systems and the different uh, kinds of nutrients. So the book covers all of that. And uh, we can, you know, I just always welcome as many questions as possible when we do these Zoom calls, because I want to get this information out to you. You are all in such a unique position. You have one of the most effective, uh, high tech and, and naturally absorbing uh, nu nutrient products on the market in the world. Okay, so this, the massive amounts of science that have, that have gone into researching each of these botanicals and putting together the right botanicals in the, right, in the, in the different formulations to effectively uh, you know, have the, the results that people desperately are, are searching for and need. You will get the results. Uh, sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes the person will need to go through a, a detoxification period. Uh, I don't ever advocate anything very, very uh, severe. Detoxifying the body severely can put you into a very, um, a very inflammatory state and cause a lot of other health issues. Sometimes health issues are, are, are stored away in the body in the fatty tissues and they, uh, they don't come out until you have a severe detoxification process. So these, these drops are, are very gentle in the way they're 
completely nourishing and helping the body to eliminate the toxins. So the detox process uh, actually should happen every single day. Every time you sit down to, for a healthy meal, the body is undergoing uh, both a, a regenerative rebuilding process and a detoxification process so that you never feel the effects because these phytonutrients are so, uh, they're such great antioxidants that they, they, they neutralize a lot of these, uh, what are called free radicals, these toxins that are are starting to recirculate so that you can eliminate them in the body. I think I answered the question. I'm not sure, though. Uh, so we're wondering if if someone says, how can a candy, in their mind it's a candy, I know that it's a lozenge or, you know, a drop. If, the, if they think this is a candy, why would this be so beneficial for their body? And what I think what you were saying was it's because of the amazing amounts of phytonutrients, the technology that has gone into this and um, the due diligence that was done by you and by the scientists who created this to, to make this an amazing compound that works in your body at the cellular level. Did I understand that right? Did I? Yeah. Right yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, that good. Yeah, you, it's making you actually triggered another. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> Thank um, you. So the fun. only difference between the drops and any other candy you buy out there, candies that are bad for you because they don't have phytonutrient compounds, they don't have the uh, the genetic information of these healing plants to instruct how our our body is going to do its own repair work. All of these other dessert candies out there contain genetically modified organisms, pesticide residues. You know, all of these uh, things, they don't have anything to counterbalance the sugar that's in these kinds of things, especially those hard candies that are out there on the market. But um, the only reason the drops are hardened and taste and look like candy is because of the 1.7 grams of, of sucrose in it. And sucrose is the only thing that will crystallize and harden and actually serve as a protectant to preserve the nutrients in our drops. So that is the only reason anyone can refer to it as a candy. You know, otherwise it's a very serious, very effective, very absorbable uh, uh, set of, of, of nutrient factors that the body loves and will utilize. That is amazing. I cannot wait to share that information with absolutely everyone I meet. Thank you for that explanation. That was just beautiful. Um, out of curiosity, how often should we use MLS and should we be taking it every single day? And is this really one of the stronger detoxification drops that we have? I would say so. Uh, I wouldn't use the word strong because that implies, you know, a severe detoxification. But I would say uh, highly effective and very nutritionally powerful, you know, uh, because it provides all of the genetic information of all of these different plants that our DNA would just have a field day with, you know, every day if you took it and uh, you would have this whole array of genetic information that is completely compatible and utilizable by our own DNA. So uh, again, all of these different functions that these plants do, it's all in their, uh, their, their DNA. And also these plants can also contain the phytochemicals as well as the DNA of the plants and the mitochondria, the energy producing factories and uh, the protein manufacturing uh, sites inside the, 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 the cells of the plants. We have those two in our own. So it's, and it's very, very compatible. So we can borrow and utilize them as much as the body pleases, you know, so it's going to be 100% absorbable and utilizable. That is wonderful to hear. We do have some amazing questions that are coming in too, but I have one last one that was on my initial list. Why would someone use this versus an over-the-counter supplement that is promoting what MLS does? Although I have to say I'd be hard-pressed to know that there would be any supplement on the market that's doing what MLS is doing, but why this versus that versus something over-the-counter? Okay, um, depends on what kind of supplement we're talking about. Obviously, uh, when I asked the same question, I asked, uh, well, is this a vitamin mineral supplement? Why aren't the vitamins and minerals listed on the boxes of the, um, the, the nutrients that are listed? And that was because if they put in these huge molecules of vitamins and minerals in the drops, we'd be eating giant gumballs. You know, they'd be huge. Uh, you know, when you buy uh, vitamin mineral tablets, they're obviously a lot bigger, right, than, than the drops. So this isn't really uh, considered a vitamin mineral supplement. 
although it could contain the trace minerals that fit inside uh, the drop. But these larger molecules, you're better off buying a whole food supplement um, that, you know, if you want the vitamins and the minerals. But um, as far as the phytochemical compounds, that's where a lot of these vitamin mineral supplements are, are, are falling short of. They might contain the whole food, you know, greens and the berries and all these other uh, superfoods in these little, uh, these little tablets. I say little because if you were to eat all these whole foods, you'd have a full table full of uh, at a meal trying to consume all these different phytonutrients, you know, and vitamins and minerals from all of these different foods. So that can be hard on the digestive system because of all that fiber, right? But um, as far as the, the very genetic instructions on how to repair things that our DNA uses, no other supplement in the world does this for us. So that's why the uh, results are so immediate and the healing value is so immediate. Otherwise, we'd be going through the sluggish digestive system and uh, just absorbing all of these nutrients. Sometimes uh, nutritional supplements, uh, vitamin mineral supplements aren't as absorbable as, uh, as foods can be because of they're, they're not active. They don't contain the active enzymes or the viable uh, you know, uh, cell comp uh, compounds like the drops have. So the drops are, are viable, they're alive, uh, they've got the enzymes that are active, that are the catalysts for every single um, biochemical reaction, every single cellular process that occurs in the body. If, without enzymes, our bodies would just cease to exist. You know, nothing happens without viable enzymes. So the drops have that in there. And not only that, they contain the light energy frequencies. And that's another aspect that I'm starting to teach because when you study the, um, the biophysics of it all, what's happening at the quantum energy, light energy frequency level, everybody's, you know, on the internet is totally in a buzz over energy, right? And how our cells hold light energy. So these drops contain that light energy because they've been infused with the negatively charged ions in the vats when they are, are being stirred up, uh, you know, the elixirs being mixed up together, they're exposed to this uh, simulated storm environment, and they collect even more negatively charged particles than the plants already had in the first place. So, you know, all of this is to the advantage of our bodies at the quantum energy level. I hope everyone was paying attention to that. That is truly exciting. Thank you for sharing that this evening. I appreciate that so much. Now I'm going to ask a couple of questions that came in from the quote unquote peanut gallery. <laughs> I want to go move on to those questions. So the first one is from Maxanne, and she'd like to know, should this drop be taken morning or night, or is there a particular time of day that you recommend? <laughs> I love this question. Sometimes uh, when you are exercising, you're under a lot of stress, you're very busy, 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 you know, you're just trying to stay in physical shape, you're exercising and, you know, just, oh, you've got so many responsibilities, your mind is buzzing, you've got so much juggling, right? Who doesn't <laughs> these days? But uh, sometimes it can be overwhelming. And when you take a supplement like this, especially if your body is sick, especially if you're in the degenerative disease process, um, and if you have some serious, you know, health issues, then if you take something like MLS, your body's going to want to go to sleep because it does its best regenerative healing work when you are sleeping. That's why sleep is so important. Okay, so this is uh, something that everyone needs to pay attention to. The immune system will do its best job when you're asleep. So if you get sleepy when you're taking these supplements, do it. You are worth it, and it, it'll, you'll feel so much better. You'll be so much more productive when you wake up. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, this is really important to pay attention to. I had no idea of that, but I really now have an insight into my own personal experience, which I won't expand on, but that was so informative. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I got a question from Ruth here. Ruth asks that she's, Hi, Ruth. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's here, um, that she's heard that people with digestive issues can pair ice and MLS together as ice works right away and MLS will rebuild gut flora. Could you expand on that? Yes. Good question, Ruth. So they both contain the phytochemical nutrient compounds that will improve the, uh, the digestive system. And that means helping the body produce more hydrochloric acid to break down those giant molecules of proteins, whole food carbohydrates, and fats to, uh, to reduce them down to the minute components of fatty acids, amino acids, and, uh, and glucose. Okay, so the drugs have already done that for us. So we're getting all of those already... Uh, reduced compounds 
ready to be assembled into the cell environment. Okay, the cell membranes are very picky. They've got some identifiers on the cell re receptor sites to allow certain things into the cell and to, uh, to reject and not allow things into the cell at all. Okay, so both formulations are, are great for improving the digestive and absorption abilities of the body. And of course, they, all, all plants have antimicrobial you know, uh, effects. So anything that will help your body get rid of uh, and, and cleanse the blood of all of these illness pathogenic organisms, then uh, the better. Uh, so, so those are the two main things. And also helping to bind to these molecularly to these toxic synthetic chemicals to help eliminate them out of the body. You know, so yeah, both, both the formulations working together are a great synergistic combo. That's wonderful. I appreciate that. And we do have a backward question. So stepping backward, just to be clear, you are recommending that MLS is good to take in the evening because it, it has such strong regenerative pro properties. Did we understand that correctly? Okay, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I was going to say that it can have the opposite effect. It can, uh, if you're rested, and uh, you've got a lot on your mind, and you've got a lot of problems you want to solve, right, or something to do, thinking, uh, even physical activity, maybe. Some people work out late at night. You know, sometimes I do that. If I haven't fit my workout in in the day, then I'll go to the gym, you know, before it closes and hurry up and get it in. But um, as far as, as that goes, yeah, you could, uh, it'll, it can wake you up, too. It, it won't stimulate you. It won't uh, overstimulate the nervous system, but it will Im improve your circulatory system and nourish your brain cells so that it functions better. So, um, you know, it depends on what your body needs and what your body wants and, and what you are undergoing in your private life. So it depends. You know, you can't really say it's a, it's a sedative. You can't say that it's a stimulant. It's neither. It's highly nourishing, and your body's going to know what to do at the right time. Understood. I do have another question here, which is, because it does detoxify the body, could it have a laxative effect or could it have some other sort of a, a breakout, your skin breakout or some other detox with your body? Absolutely. These, uh, these compounds are very, very cleansing. They're not harsh, but they can be. You know, if your body needs to get rid of something that it it determines is putting you in danger or disrupting a lot of your system's functionings, then it's definitely going to do that. The skin is the last resort for the body to eliminate toxins. And also uh, the wrong types of fats in the diet will produce a lot of health uh, uh, skin conditions. So uh, make sure you're not frying your oils. That's the first thing. That's the, the culprit of so many health issues, hormonal uh, problems, and uh, nervous system disorders and memory problems and learning disorders, uh, you know, just all these different cascade effects that occur when the body receives these plasticized uh, particles. So try not to heat your oils at all, and uh, and you'll see the difference. You know, heating, uh, eating uh, foods high in the in the, the healthy fats, the omega threes, fatty acids such as the raw nuts and seeds and uh, different types of edible flowers, also very high, very good. You can buy those supplements too. But uh, we've got edible flowers in our formulations. So, you know, you don't even have to go any further than that really to have the compounds that you need to correct a lot of these problems. So skin disorders can, can pop out, you know, uh, they shouldn't be anything major unless you already have a skin condition. So look at the dietary fats and continue taking these drops because that'll help detoxify and help your uh, your cells in your skin to uh, to function normally and to produce cells that are healthy and more youthful, you know that kind of thing. So that should improve that way. And anything else in the body that needs eliminating the other eliminative organs, which is the lungs and the bowels and the kidneys, the lymph system, you know, all these different uh, systems will help will be eliminated. You can eliminate a lot of these toxins through those systems as well. Thank you. And it won't be anything. It won't be anything harsh, you know, it shouldn't be, uh, unless you're doing other detoxes, uh, you know, don't do anything drastic, just switch to an all whole foods, organic diet, balance your nutrients, drink a lot of water, don't drink distilled or tap water or the cheap uh, bottled water that's just really tap water, you know, run through a minimal filtration process. You want uh, bottled at the source uh, mineral spring water, and if you have like a Berkey water filter, they... Uh, they will take out a lot of the uh, the toxic metals 
that a lot of the home filtration units won't take out. So do your homework on your, your water filters as well. As far as I can tell, the Berkey is the most complete, and their website is full of educational information that will uh, keep you informed as far as the kind of water. Um, whole foods have chemically pure water in them. Plants don't allow a lot of these toxins in their systemic, you know, um, in their systems. Yeah, so put it all together, and you'll see how fabulous you'll feel and how your body will just go to work and fix things. I'm going to have to investigate that water system, Berkey. That's, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I think we have time for one or two more questions. They're, they're coming in very, very quickly. Um, so one of the questions that we have uh, from Brenda is, one of her clients asked her if these drops will change their DNA. No, no, no. These are not foreign. These are recognizable as the very things the DNA requires to function properly, to stay alive, to keep it going, to protect it. You know, these are highly protective, um, compatible, you know, just microscopic uh, happenings in the body. You know, there, there's nothing foreign or strange about them and they will not, they will not forcefully uh, change their cell receptor sites. Some drugs operate that way. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not, I'm not telling you what to do and what not to do. Never go off any drugs unless you are seeing your physician. Um, you know, when I had my, uh, before I retired my practice 12 years ago, I would always make sure my clients' doctors understood what I was doing. And so I had my clients sign waivers to make sure they understood that I was not a medical doctor. I was not trying to practice medicine without a license. But um, the doctors needed to be informed as to what their patients were doing to improve their health nutritionally. Um, you know, some doctors were very open to it. Doctors are more open to it now, I think, than they used to be. I had a heck of a time trying to get doctors to, um, to see, uh, and I would send them, you know, their whole, the whole protocol of uh, my client for, or their patient. And so uh, sometimes it was okay, but most of the time, in spite of the medications they were on, the body chose the best thing to heal and recover and improve the health of that person's body. So when they went back to their doctors, their doctors would say, well, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. You know, they were so perplexed. They were so confused. Even if I tried to educate them and provide them with the factual data, uh, that still happened. But um, yeah, I mean, and then eventually their doctors would, would take them off their medications, maybe not completely off, but you know, it was a dramatic improvement in the side effects of their drugs. So drugs do work on the cell receptor sites and they change and force certain, uh, certain things to go on in the body. And that causes a lot of chain reaction uh, of, of things in the body as well. So you can go to Medline and look up any one of your prescription meds and see what the side effects are of your meds. You know, because most sometimes uh, a lot of health issues pop up because of the side effects of those, those meds. I'm not telling anyone to not take meds. That's not my job. My job is to educate people on their nutritional physiology because that's what makes uh, the body understand what's coming in and do the right repair work. One more question. Um, this was from a little while ago. Is, is MLS similar to NRM in terms of diabetes? And I, I guess that refers back to the cinnamon bark. Yeah, there are uh, just about every plant in the NRM has been tested over many years and over many different, you know, just like all these other botanicals have been tested throughout the world for many years and uh, documented as far as what groups of scientists have, have found in their research as to the effects of these plants and, and what their phytochemical compounds do, uh, especially when it comes to regulating blood sugar, uh, of actually other body systems too. But uh, in this case, then uh, there's a lot of that, that has been tested and, and researched and discovered about what is in these botanicals that, uh, that actually matches what indigenous healers have known for centuries and maybe thousands of years, uh, those compounds will help the body regulate its blood sugar either directly or indirectly. So yeah, it's, uh, you know, just uh, most of, of plants do have the phytochemical compounds that help the body regulate its blood sugar. So, uh, I mean, of course, it's much more complex than that. But um, if you do the research or if you like if you purchase the book, I've got 
literally maybe 2000 <laughs> scientific research. And these are peer reviewed studies. You don't just go for one, uh, uh, one study because you don't know if that's been done uh, legitimately or correctly or who's backing the study. So you want a peer reviewed study of uh, in, you know, experts in the, uh, the academic environment and the scientific environment that will determine which of these studies are the best and most credible. And so they look very, very closely at the, the way the scientists conduct their research. So that's extremely important. So it's best to look at, at peer-reviewed studies. If you're doing any kind of your own research, you type in what you're looking for. And at the end of your phrase, always type in science journal. That way, you'll bypass all of the pseudoscience. You'll bypass all of these uh, non-qualified articles you know, uh, from, from people who aren't qualified or aren't as versed in the scientific research as they should be, you know, that kind of thing. So you'll find all kinds of misinformation or incomplete information out there. But if you type in the word science journal after your search, then you'll see uh, it should come up with the scientific research studies that are considered legitimate and look for the, um, the, the peer-reviewed studies. Those are the most important way to ensure that you're getting the right information. And you'll find that it matches the ancients ways of, of healing the body using nutritional physiology. It's nothing new to humankind. It's been used since the beginning of time. But uh, in recent uh, centuries, you know, uh, science has finally sat up and took notice and, and realized through their research that uh, a lot of this so-called mythology, you know, uh, old wives tales or whatever you want to call it, is actually credible. I'm in agreement with you there. <laughs> I've seen that time and again. I have two more questions, and then I think we're we're just so grateful for you being here this evening. So thank you so much. Um, the first question is, do you have a recommendation of drops for someone who is experiencing Parkinson's disease? Okay, Parkinson's disease, that uh, refers to the, the, uh, the nervous system and the brain. So again, in the, my research and in seeing the improvements in my clients over the years, when you switch to the healthy fats, the whole food fats, uh, balance between animal fats and plant fats, the omega-3s, instead of, of, of uh, eating fried oils, eating margarine or shortening, all of those plasticized fats become trans fats. And that just uh, describes the molecular configuration of how the carbon and hydrogen and oxygen atoms arrange themselves in whole food healing fats and the, uh, a lot of the, the healthy plant oils, um, I can list some plant oils. Some, not all plant oils are all that healthy because they're higher in omega-6s uh, than omega-3s. You want to focus on omega-3s, plants that have omega-3s. Um, so when you combine all that together, then it, it uh, over time will destroy the nervous system, you know, if you're eating the wrong fats. And that's the first thing. Minerals, too. If your body is, is uh, deficient in minerals, your neurons aren't going to fire properly, you know. Um, and going back to the fats briefly, the nerve cell coatings are, are made of the fatty acids. So your nerve cells have to be coated with the healthy fats. If not, they will misfire. They will uh, be, become damaged. They'll be subject to being damaged by other, other things that don't belong in the body, the free radicals, you know, um, all the things that we mentioned earlier that are bad in the body. So those are all free radicals. So you want to, uh, to protect your immune system from those free radicals. You want to eat the right fats and uh, minimize fats, too, because they're over twice as many calorie or energy value than carbohydrates or proteins. You know, so um, just making sure you're putting in the right molecules in the body so that uh, you minimize all of the damage that can occur to the nervous system over time. Thank you. That's excellent. I, we appreciate that. The last question we have is, are these ionized products tested and have a seal of approval, approval by research scientists? Okay, that's a great question. Many products have gone the extra step of having their products analyzed by, by independent laboratories or credible you know, uh, organizations. So, if they have been gone through the rigorous testing of the scientific method, you know, by these organizations or by independent, uh, you know, organizations, then they they can talk about that. They can say, well, you know, this research that was done on this product showed that it cures this particular problem. 
but we're walking a very fine line here because um, cures belongs to the medical industry, right? And, and so they take drastic measures to protect their right to use these terms and no one else can use them. So uh, you have to know this as, as associates that are, you know, you're, you're dealing with uh, highly nourishing, cellular repairing and, and uh, improving the functioning of the body kind of products. So nourishment will always do that. The right nourishment always does that. When you, uh, if you were to study every single individual nutrient, which by the way, I define in the book, uh, it's, it's really important that um, you know what these nutrients and, and phytonutrients do in the body so that you can say at the cell level, you know, this is what's happening and this is what's improving. And, and therefore, at the macro level, you'll see the improvements because we're made out of cells. Everything in the body is made out of these, you know, microscopic, uh, sub-microscopic uh, cells, right? So, yeah, it's important to really, really understand that. Thank you so much. Your time is so valuable and you've been so incredibly generous. This information has been just beautiful. I really appreciate you, especially taking additional questions from everyone as well. So thank you so much for that. Everyone, I know we're very grateful to Mary Esther for her time and for what she's given to us. Would you do us the, the favor of telling us the title of your book and where we might be able to find it? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you for saying all of that. It's my pleasure. It's my privilege. It's my mission to have a healthier humanity. How, you know, how strong is a population and uh, um, to withstand a lot of, of what's going on in the world, you know, what's going on in our lives and, and handle and, and uh, come with come up with the right solutions, both for our own inner universe and our relationships and uh, in the world, you know, we uh, as healthy human beings can influence the world in in very um, in very in, in ways that we aren't aren't even aware of. You know, we're energy beings, basically, ninety seven percent light energy and three percent particle matter at the quantum level. When we really break things down, so we do have an impact in the world with our health. But I just wanted to say that really quick. But thank you for for saying that. But yeah, the pleasure is all mine. The privilege is all mine. Wonderful. So the book, go ahead. Wonderful. That's what I was going to say. Remember to tell us where we can get your book. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can get carried away. Um, so yeah, the book is found at my website, holisticchoices.com and go to the books by the author or books by Mary Esther. I forget what I named the tab on the side. Uh, just click on that. It'll take you to the page where my books are and just scroll down to the bottom. The latest book that I had published is the, the book and it's called Potent superfoods for lifelong true health. It has 109 botanicals. Um, I doubled the amount of botanicals in the book. It has every botanical that are that's in the drops and then some so that you have a nice uh, health reference manual. Uh, the book has a very comprehensive uh, encyclopedia of, of terms so that if you come across uh, one of the scientific terms in the book, you can't get away from the science of it all when you're dealing with the human body and human nutrition. So uh, anything that you want to look up is in there rather than having to stop and go online and or whatever and look up a term, right? So it'll define it for you sometimes right there. The, uh, the scientific monographs on every single uh, botanical that are in the drops is taken uh, from the peer-reviewed studies on the internet. It took me months to write the book. <laughs> A lot of due diligence was put into that book. So, and also I list all of the scientific references in the book. So if you want to do go one step further and look at the science, you'll be able to see uh, the very elaborate, very impressive scientific work that's been done on coming up with uh, how these botanicals are helpful for the body. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you go to that page and you click on the books page and you scroll down, uh, then you can click on, on the book. I love my copy. I don't have it with me in my hand, I, you, you know, but I love my copy and I'm so grateful that I have it. Your, your books are amazing and so helpful to all of us. We, we all appreciate that. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for joining us tonight. And, and I'm going to take us off mute. And I want everyone to at one time say a big thank you. So I'll just ask everyone to unmute quickly. And let me allow everyone to unmute okay allow uh okay can you all unmute 
Yeah, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 so much. Thank you. Information. We will all we will all be uh, studying this again and again and again. Thank you. And, uh, we will see everyone tomorrow evening. Uh, there, there is a business presentation, and if not tomorrow evening, I will see you all in Cancun. So have a wonderful evening, everyone. Happy packing. Thank you again, Mary Esther. We love you so much. We're so great. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all, too. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.